Hello everybody, Paul McFarland here again with another little tale from the Shia Day Rizzoli book. This is about one ad and it's a challenge to every one of you, no matter what you're doing, what your client is, what your brand is, it's a challenge. And it's a little interesting thing. If you know who Lee Clow is, did you know that he showed up in their self promo ads, uh, one of his ears in a pioneer ad? on and on and on, and he check, name checked his aunt and uncle in an Olympia beer spot. Olympia beer. Now, the thing about Olympia beer is, <coughs> if you know Olympia, it was never like a big beer brand. It was kind of regional. It's, I always thought it was kind of cool because it seemed somewhat exotic. And they came up with the idea that they were searching for what's different, what's different, and then it was an offhand remark. I talked about this in an earlier video, so I'm not going to belabor this. If you haven't been watching all 55 or whatever of my videos so far, it's not my problem, it's yours. The um, thing they figured out was something to talk about is the artesian water. Now, artesian well water is kind of all over the world, but no one else was talking about it, so why not? <laughs> the idea to, well, if there's artesian well water, well, who are the artesians? So they created a mystery about it. And as I've said many times before, we pursue what runs away from us. And a mystery of a brand element is important. So you have this kind of country bumpkin and looking couple. And they're being interviewed right by the mailbox. And they look sort of, you know, rural. And it's very simple. The, the man, and again, this is uh, his uh, aunt and uncle, Delmer and Martha. <laughs> we are Delmer and Martha Clow, she says, because they're going back and forth. We are Delmer and Martha Clow. Uh, Clow, in 1979, we were taken by the Artesians and spent 16, 13 months living with them. They are an interesting uh, people with rather, with rather large feet, small. Uh, when we left, we promised to always drink Olympia beer because the artesian brewing water makes it taste so good. Beat. Also, they still have our cho two children, Harold and Annette. Okay. Oh, you could say, Paul, that's just, you know, cheap comedy in, in a beer ad. Well, is it? First of all, I'm challenging you, whatever you're working on, find the dullest, most boring client you have and you can't find something interesting to say about it. Go on, think of it. And then, can you find some one differentiating thing, however insignificant, however currently meaning, meaningless it is now, and turn it into something like that? And remember, when in doubt, you can use actual people names, if it's yours or family members, people you know, it's more fun. And the fact that the name in this case was sort of obscure and only people like me when I heard the word cloud knew who it was and I checked the Los Angeles phone book, etc., etc. obsession. So Artesians being kidnapped by the Artesians. See, every video commercial they did it gave you even, even a less and less clear idea of what Artesians were. They were little people that hung out at the brewery, they're aliens there you know it doesn't matter and that's the fun of it you just keep people guessing about what the artesians are it's just like what i did with the video yesterday with the 9x campaign when you give people a mystery it's fun but most people are just too scared oh we can't do that we have to be direct we have to be direct you know it's like those people in focus groups that say i don't pay attention to advertising i just give me the information and i make a decision i make my own decision liar and the people who say oh we can't have fun we can't do a mystery we have to be direct and say, well chicken shit the artesians delmer and martha clow clow mm -hmm. take something you're working on right now find some bit of minutia and make it huge make it funny make something of it it just might work and if, at least you tried